In Gears, we have two types of stats options, the percent type and the level type. In order for us to know which of the stat options is better to put in our gears, we will compare the value that the percentage type and the level type can add to our stats. In level type HP, there is HP plus level asterisk 1, and HP plus level asterisk 8. We will use HP plus level asterisk 8 because it is better than asterisk 1. Same with fixed damage red, asterisk 1 is better than slash 5, and we will use stamina plus 20 for a small amount of HP and skill damage res percent. Let's compare in a level 400 character to find out what options are good for our 4 gears. Let's check the stats we can get from percent type build. Let's check the level type. Now let's try with an RB2 character. The stats are low because it's just my dummy. Now we will use an RB4 character. Now let's try with an RB5 character. Every time the level or RB increases we can adjust our gear build. For example, we are already at RB5, and we want to have a higher amount of HP. We can now remove the excellent res rate plus 5% in R5 gears, and replace it with HP plus level times 8 to get extra HP. Do not remove the excellent res rate plus 5% if you are still in RB1 so that you have resistance to excellent damage. If you want to have a higher amount of death, 
you can remove excellent res rate and excellent damage red in your R6 gears, and replace it with HP plus level and death bonus plus 2% for extra death. It is good when you have a high amount of death, because if you notice, your character is more tanky, when you have a death buff from the elf's guardian of light skill. If you are a spender and have 7400 to 8000 plus points in agility, you can probably remove death rate, and replace it with stamina plus 20 for extra HP and skill damage res, or you can also put excellent damage red. In R8 gear build, if you are a spender and have high agility stats points, you can remove the death rate, and replace it with HP plus level times 8, and if you have a full jewel of luck in your gears, you can also remove fatal damage red, and replace it with death bonus plus 2%. In R9 gears, we can put stamina plus 20 for skill damage res percent, because skill damage res plus 2% has been removed in R9 gear. Damage red or fixed damage red. Which is better? Here I have 77.71% damage red. I'll equip my R6 gears with damage red plus 4% on all parts, and let's check how many percent will add. My damage red percent was only 81.82%. Only 4.11% was added. Only about 4% is added when our damage red is at 80%. The top one player on our server said, he has a total of 93.5% damage red when he is wearing R4 to R8 gear with damage red plus 4%. He took off all his gears and his damage red became only 85%. He said, it's not worth it put damage red plus 4% on gears, because he only got about 7% damage red from his gears. Maybe it is better to put fixed damage red on our gears when our damage red is at 80 plus percent. Remember, this is just a guide and it's still up to you which build you prefer. I hope this video was helpful to you. Thank you for watching.